Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will discuss the file system versus DBMS. In the first video of DBMS lecture series, we discussed the basic introduction to DBMS and few basic concepts of DBMS. But now the question arises in our minds is that earlier we were using the file system to manage the data. But nowadays, why do we use DBMS instead of a file system or why DBMS is better than the file system? So now let's discuss this. Now I will take a very simple real life example. In 1970s, we used to access the data in such a way like for instance, I am a user, I have some data in my system and ultimately I am going to access this data. That is, I am as a user saving the data and I am on the other hand also accessing or using this data. So in this case, we can use the file system because user always manages the data in the form of files. So it will be easier for me to save my data in different files. For example, in our laptops or systems, there is operating system, you all know, and in any operating system, there is built-in file system like CIFS, NFS, right? So whatever data we have, we can save that data in the form of files in different drives like A, B, C. And in that drives, we can further make folders or subfolders to save our data. That is, we are saving or managing the data in the hierarchical form. But now the main question is why do we use DBMS instead of the file system? That is, if file system was working properly, then why DBMS? So the answer to this question is now we are using the client server architecture. We are now using the client server architecture. That is, now I am not the only one who is going to use or access my data, right? My data is now located at any centralized location. And the data is now being used by the multiple number of users all over the world. Fine. So now multiple number of users are attached with the server and trying to access the data. Fine. So in this case, where my data should be accessible to multiple number of users across the world and I am not the only one to access my data. So now in this case, we can't use file system and we have to use DBMS because here we are not talking about the small amount of data, but a very huge and large amount of data. So now this is the brief introduction about the file system and DBMS that file system is basically a way of arranging the files in a storage medium like hard disk or we can say the file system is used to manage the data in storage medium like hard disk whereas DBMS on the other hand is a software that manages the large collection of related data, the data which is related to one another, right? So now these are the few key points of differences between the file system and DBMS that is structured or unstructured data, location of data, amount of data, concurrency, data security, data redundancy. So now let's discuss every point of difference between the file system and DBMS one by one. So first point of difference is structured or unstructured data. So in file system, what happens is we have combined collection of the data that is in the form of images, videos, any lecture videos, 
एक्सेल फाइल्स वर्ड फाइल्स नोट पैड फाइल्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ डेटा फॉर इंस्टांस सो नाउ वट वी डू इन आर सिस्टम्स देर इज वन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन विच वी देन पार्टीशन आर ड्राइव देन फर्दर वी क्रिएट फोल्डर्स और सब फोल्डर्स और डायरेक्टरीज टू सेव द डेटा दैट इज वी आर मैनेजिंग द डेटा एंड नो वेयर वी आर प्री डिफाइनिंग द डेटा दैट इज आर वी डिफाइनिंग आर डेटा before uh, saving it or before managing it into different different folders or we can say have we defined any particular data model or data type or data schema or any constraints before saving it no we have not followed it anywhere right we had a collection of data that is images videos text files or any social media data like facebook twitter or whatsapp data and we have just saved this data in an unstructured form that is we have not defined any data model for this data so this is the unstructured data right so in file system we store the data in an unstructured form but on the other hand in dbms we firstly create tables to store the data or manage the data and for that we have to firstly define the data type that is we can't store the data in the tables before defining its data type that is what kind of data we are storing in table whether it's an integer data float data string we just can't store the data in the raw form before predefining it otherwise it will give errors so the data in dbms is structured data because before managing the data in tables as we do in dbms we have to define its data type right so next is the location of the data see file system is good to store or manage the data we are not saying that it's a bad idea to manage the data in the file system but the main issue with the file systems is that it can store the data in just small amount fine it can just store the data in a small amount and why this is so because in file systems if you want to access the data you need to know the location of the data that is where the particular or required data is actually stored for example if you have created any excel file let's say abc.xls its extension so now obviously you will save this file in any drive in the folder or desktop now when you want to access this file abc then obviously you should know the location of the file that is in which folder in which drive it is stored or the name of the file and without without knowing the location of the file you can't access this file for example let's say if you access or open any file in your system its location shows there like you have seen c c colon slash folder 1 folder 2 so this is what it's a location of the file so what i'm trying to say is in file system you need to know the location of the data if you want to access it but this is not possible in case of a huge amount of data it's fine to know the location of small amount of data but it's like impossible to know the location of large or very huge data before accessing it so for example if i have stored any data in my system like photos or word file so obviously i know that in which folder i have saved it that is it's possible here to know or remind the location of the data because here we are talking about the small amount of data but if let's say i have to access any train reservation detail on irctc then is it possible for me to know the location of the whole data of irctc that is on which centralized server the whole data of irctc is stored obviously it's not possible so this is the second point of difference that is the location of the data so now the third point is the amount of data so now let's understand this point with the help of an example help of a real life example 
let's say if i am a facul faculty in any college and if i have to store data of any 40 to 50 students of my assigned class so now what i will do is i will just create a excel file and store the data like name roll number phone number or any data in that excel file and can easily access that file in my laptop or desktop when it's required or do i have to create a whole database for uh, such small amount of data obviously not because here we are talking about the small amount of data so it's easy here to access this much amount of data but if i talk about storing the whole data of any college like list of departments list of faculty list of students of all the departments in the college list of other cleaning staff or workers in the college along with their details so for this i need to create let's say 10 to 15 tables approx to store their data so do you think that this much amount of data can be managed in file systems or accessing this huge amount of data is possible in file systems no it's not possible to access this much amount of data in file systems and for this college needs to have their own database so now next point is concurrency concurrency simply means the multiple computations are occurring at the same time or we can simply say the simultaneous occurrence of the events so let's take a real life example to understand this concept for example in ircTC what happens is there are multiple number of users or lakhs of people so we can say they are doing their booking or transactions at the same amount of time and also accessing the details on their websites database by different operations of dbms like insertion deletion updation so do you think that this is possible in case of file system no obviously not because in file system there is no such protocol for concurrency so concurrency is not at all possible in file system because here data is stored in stored in an unstructured form right now next is fourth point is the data security so security of a data is again a very important issue let's say for example there is a data of any college where there is a whole data of that college that is data of students data of professors academic data management data or any college related data and in this particular college i am working as a professor and my data is also saved there in the database of the college so do you think that this is a good idea or this is fine or this is okay that my data is accessible to every student or dean or principal or you can say principal's data or dean's data is accessible to me or any working staff in the college no this is not right because some access control of the data should be there right so as to provide the data security fine so let's take another simple example to understand this concept if you open ircTC let's say or any website so do you think that you will be able to access their whole data that is the data like their employee data their worker data no you will not be able to access it because they have applied some role based security there where you are any user or any passenger will just be able to check the data related to trains only or their reservation only because they have applied some constraints on their data where you will only be able to see the data which they want to show you or the data which is related to any particular user but if you talk about file system there is no such thing like role based security or any security because you just open the flap of your laptop or switch on your system fill the password and after that whole data is there in front of you and you can access the data just by clicking different folders or drives 
so in data secure so data security is a big concern in case of the file systems whereas in dbms it's not now the next point is data redundancy data redundancy as i discussed in my previous lecture video is data duplicacy that is storing the same data again and again at different places for example if you want to show any particular data to any particular user for instance if i have if i have data of 10 students that is if i have created a table for 10 students with attributes like name their phone number age address fine and now i want to show first two column details that is name of the student and phone number of the student to one of my colleague then i want then what i will do i will create one folder where i will just save name and phone number of the students and hide the age and address of the students but in second case i want to show name age and address of the students to my some other colleague and don't want to show the phone number to this particular colleague so now i will create another folder for the same 10 students showing only three attributes that is name age and address so now what i am doing here is i am creating the same data again and again for these 10 students with different attributes in different folders so by doing this what i am doing is i might be able to maintain the security of the data by creating different folders for different users but i am here duplicating the data that is i am creating same data again and again thereby creating a problem of data redundancy but if i talk about the dbms here the chances of data redundancy is very very low because in dbms there are lot of constraints like foreign key constraints primary key constraints which helps us in maintaining the integrity of the data thereby ensuring that the data which is going to be stored is unique right so now in nutshell we will discuss all the points of differences between the file system versus dbms that is in file system data is unstructured whereas in dbms structured data is there in file system location of the data should be known whereas location of the data is not required in case of the dbms in file system only small amount of data can be stored efficiently but in case of dbms large or very large amount of data can also be stored efficiently file system doesn't support concurrency but dbms supports concurrency file system doesn't provide the data security whereas dbms provides the data security so file system have redundant data redundant data may be present here right but in dbms chances of redundant data are very very low so these were the few points of on the basis of which you can understand that how dbms is superior to file system how dbms is superior to file system or you can also write these points in your exams as advantages of dbms or disadvantages of file system so this is all about this lecture further we will discuss in the next video so till then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching